Hello, Jermaine here and welcome to video number two, um, whereby we are exploring interoperating with React um, JS um, in our Dart project. Um, so last week where we left off, um, we ended up using um, the Create React class module as a fallback um, because um, like I um, stated, the JS package that we're using to interoperate with uh, JavaScript um, doesn't support ES6 modules. So um, that's no problem, however, because um, React um, gives us the Create React class module, um, which we used um, as a fallback. So um, la um, in the last video, we ended up um, re recreating this um, component here, this greeting component, um, which took a render function and then it rendered a heading level, um, a heading one element onto the screen. Um, so if I go back to the code, um, this is what it looks like here. In this uh, video, we're going to be refactoring um, our solution and also um, on top of that, we're going to be um, going through the rest of the examples um, on the home page. So um, we'll see how far we get um, with this really um, in this video. Um, we might go through all these, these examples or, or not, probably. Um, but if not, we'll, we'll continue in the next one. Okay, let's get started. So we'll start by um, refactoring this function and to um, use uh, named parameters instead of accepting a map object. So this named parameters would, um, each parameter um, would be based on the um, React uh, component API. So it will have the render function, the component will mount, component will unmount and, and so on and so forth. So let's do that by coming to our app.dart file and coming to this function in particular. So um, what I'm going to do is I'll change this um, structure to that and then uh, we'll um, detail all our um, named parameters. So there is the get default props. Then there's the get initial state. And then um, component did mount. And then there's component will unmount. And then there's render. And then the second thing I do here is to change our implementation. So in our implementation, um, we'll start by creating a config ob object. This config will take in a map um, of our our function, um, a map um, with containing these parameters uh, depending on um, which ones are defined. So I'm gonna do something along the lines of um, if get default props um, is not equal to null. So if we define it, it will be, yeah, it will be a function, but if it's not defined, it will be null. And then uh, I'll say config get default props uh, is equal to get default props. So I'm going to do the same for for the rest for the rest of these. So let me speed this up quickly. And then at the end of this, what we want to do is um, to return our call to create React class. And then uh, we'll do make JS object. And then uh, we'll pass in our config object in here. And this now means we need to come and fix our main dot dot. So that means I can lose 
can get rid of this and this bit and then that bit um, so in my view I think this looks nicer um, I'm add a comma here yeah okay yeah can confirm that this is still running so that is good and in fact another thing I want to do is um, just to save us from calling allow interrupt capture this um, can do that in app.dart so the way we'll do that is we will so we can do something yeah we can do that to allow interrupt capture this which will save us from doing that Yeah, so this looks much cleaner. Okay. And also the second thing I wish to do is to um, add a couple of folders to help us maintain and manage our, our components. So I'll create a new folder called components. And in the uh, let me create a new folder, actually a second folder called interrupt. So, our app.dart, I'll rename this to react. So this is our react interrupt and I'll drag that in here. And then I'll make sure that I am um, importing it and let's confirm it's working still uh, let me get rid of that refresh the page okay that's fine and then I am going to go back I'm gonna go to the documentation and uh, we're gonna begin going over the examples on the home page so in this first example um, in fact we're actually doing this uh, with our greeting component uh, because we've got it literally has got a render function which takes in which renders out a div with hello and then it's got a name uh, property called name so we're doing something similar um, here already with our greeting component. So um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll change this to hello message, um, just to be consistent with what we have on the home page. And then the name was set to Taylor, was it? And then, um, yeah, this should be null. Let me save that. Reload the page, let's see what it looks like. Okay, hello Taylor. Okay, awesome. So now let me move this to our components directory. So I'll call it, I'll create a file and call it hello message dot dart. I'll paste this in here. And then uh, we need to import our react interrupt and then we also need to import the JS util library okay and then we need to import our components is components hello message dot dot okay so let me save all of this and make sure that it still runs okay awesome still runs so now that we've got our first example this brings us to our second example in the documentation so 
that is um, this example of a stateful component. So before we proceed to build it, let's um, inspect it for a minute. So um, it's got a state um, object. Um, so for us, um, doing this dot state is equivalent to calling um, get initial state. So we will get initial state and then we'll return um, our state object. And then um, there's a tick method um, that evokes this dot set state. And then there's uh, the other lifecycle methods, uh, component did mount, component will our mount, and the uh, render uh, function. So in fact, let's start by building our initial state. Yeah, so I will start by creating a new component. And then this new component is called a, it's called a timer, isn't it? That, but I will name it ticker and the reason why I'm naming it ticker because um, there's a dart has an inbuilt class called timer so I can't give it the same I can't name it the same um, here so I'll call it ticker instead and I'll name the file ticker just to be consistent okay so we got var ticker um, but before I start building we need to import our JS util package and we also need to import our interrupt so ticker we'll call create react class and then uh, let's define our initial state which will be a function um, that returns a JS object and in here um, I believe it's seconds it's instantiated with zero say value um, so that's the first thing we need to do and the second thing We need to do if we go back to the example is uh, yeah I mentioned we define these are the life cycle uh, methods so let's do that so I can do um, component did mount and in here uh, we'll do the set interval which in dart is a timer.periodic but then we need to import the dart async class so that allows us to use timer.periodic now we'll give it a duration of one second then after that one second essentially we want to um, call a to invoke a tick function on here so currently um, we don't have our tick function yet um, which at this point will be good to define that and the way I'm going to do that is um, I can either add another named parameter uh, for that tick function um, but to have something um, slightly more, I guess, maintainable uh, in the long run, what I'm going to do instead is I am going to uh, mutate this function to take in a method map. So this will contain a map of methods and then um, wherever we pass in there will um, combine, will add to our config object. So I'll do a map and um, so the map structure will have a string as the key and the value will be a function that way 
and then uh, after that I'll say if our method map is not null then what we want to happen is we will do a config dot add and then we'll add our method map to our config object okay so I'll save this and then I'll come back to our ticker so in our ticker what we'll do is we'll pass in our method map which takes in a map object I'll define my tick function and then um, in the tick function we can do whatever um, I'll I'll print ticking uh, for now. Okay. Also, so the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to find a way of invoking this tick function. So if we look at the example here, um, it does in the component did mount it does this dot interval and this dot set state. Um, this dot set state happens in tick and, and so on and so forth. Uh, so um, we need a reference to this essentially and um, that's where um, this function comes in so um, allow interrupt capture this so what I'm going to do is I am going to wrap these two with interrupt capture this so our component did mount and our component will amount so i wrap that those two which now means that in our ticker we're able to access it here by doing self and we need to cast self to our react class interface So this now means that I'm able to um, to use self dot tick. Uh, one extra thing we need to do to our interface is to define our tick function. Essentially, so we'll um, have an external getter, which is a function called tick. That way and um, yeah this should be fine it should say ticking so um, let's um, let's try this out um, in fact and see um, what's happening so I'm gonna go to main.dart and um, let's import our ticker our ticker.dart uh, I will simplify this by copying this here And then um, what I'll do is react DOM dot render, and then uh, do react create element of our ticker, and I'll pass in null for both of these. And then um, we need a query selector, which I am going to set to output to. So output to doesn't exist yet. Um, so let's create it now. Essentially, I'll replicate this and I will give it an ID of output to. So let's take a look at this and let's see what we get.
Okay, so um, okay, it seems we have an error. Console uh, create class must implement a render method. All oh, right, we haven't implemented our <laughs> our render function. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so let's do that now. Our render function. And what we are going to do in our render function is do a react create element and uh, we create a div which takes in a null and then um, the text our div is seconds and then uh, we invoke get property from our from our JS util dot and then uh, we'll pass in the object which is self dot state now we can get self from our render function in here so we do the same thing here uh, because if you remember um, in our interrupt file uh, we wrapped our render function in allow interrupt capture this which as I explained it exposes the this keyword um, and passes it in as the, f the first um, parameter uh, for the render for this closure. So um, we do get property self.state and um, it requires two properties and then the property we want is um, second. Now of course because self um, is a React class interface. Um, we need to define a getter for our state. So dynamic get state. So hopefully this should. Oh, I need to save this file too. Let's fix the indentation and as expected, we got our seconds uh, rendering. So let's check again. Okay, that is good. And um, as you can see, it's our timer is working as well. So it's ticking. Okay, awesome. The last thing we need to do is to um, fully implement this tick function um, so that the seconds are, are moving. Um, are incrementing because at the moment it's just happening in our console so um, to do that we will make this into a function and also we need a reference to um, self in here so um, the way we can do that is I will copy this and place that in here and if I come back to react dot um, all we can say is we can add another line that says that if our method map is defined then um, we want to loop over our method map and update um, all of it so this update all um, takes a function and this function um, takes in a yeah so it takes in a key value pair. So our string and then our function. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to return. I'm going to wrap it in allow interrupt capture this and then uh, pass in our function. So that's why that's the first thing I need to do. And then if I come back to ticker.dart, we can do, and oh, right. We also need to invoke set state. So if we come back here and uh, we define our set state function, set state. And what I will do here is um, I'll use a type, a type definition. So set state. 
function and then I'll mark it with type def I'll define um, this set state function and um, this set state function just um, would give us a I'll set it to dynamic and um, I'll call it state okay so then we'll come back to our ticker dot dot and in here we can do self dot set state and then um, which is a function uh, which gives us a state object I'll mark as dynamic and then um, I do that by grabbing the amount of seconds so we'll do get property state seconds and let me just go back uh, to the documentation example so what we're trying to do is um, essentially um, this bit so we're calling this dot set state um, which takes in a closure uh, this closure gives us the state object and then uh, essentially we're returning an object whereby we're taking the seconds from this state and we're incrementing one to it so essentially we're trying to replicate the same uh, the same functionality here so we've done self dot set state and we're able to use set state because uh, we've defined this as a getter on our react class interface so dart knows about it this function essentially and then um, we're defining a function here whereby we're given a state object so first we'll extract the seconds by um, using the jsutil get property um, top level function we pass in our state object and then the, the key we want seconds and then um, because it's dynamic we'll cast it to an int to an integer and then we will return a js object so we do make js object we define our seconds then our seconds will be seconds plus one so I'll save this and let's see what happens and our seconds are incrementing okay that's good um, so just to recap um, what we did was we ref refactored our create react class um, function in here and um, so we refactored create react class to accept um, a list of named properties um, it's just easier to read from a documentation point of view and we defined essentially um, the API uh, methods um, in here and for each of those methods um, we um, up, we added it to a config um, object depending on whether it was defined or not we wrapped a couple of the lifecycle callbacks so component did mount component will mount in interrupt in allow interrupt capture this so allow us to use the this keyword um, which is a reference to the component instance um, so we did it for component did amount component will amount and then um, in our render function as well we um, wrapped it in allow interrupt capture this now we accepted a um, method map which will take in a key value pair of custom methods that we define um, on our component and um, what we did with that was we wrapped each um, method we defined um, also in the allow interrupt capture this to allow us to um, reference the component instance and um, we added 
we combined all our map of methods um, to our config object. And finally, what we did was we returned a, uh, we made a call to create React class um, here. And then uh, we passed in um, the config object. And that was it. Now for each of these um, methods, um, we were getting a reference, of course, um, to um, the instance in which we um, casted to um, a React class interface. So that meant that we're able to um, access um, these methods. So essentially we're telling the um, Dart compiler about these methods and, and, and properties. Um, so now that means that um, we've got a working solution uh, whereby um, we're defining our initial state, um, we're defining a lifecycle callback, component did mount, um, a render function, and of course we've got our map of custom methods. So let me go back to the documentation and see what else we missed out. Um, so we've got component will unmount. So let's see how we can um, implement this bit actually. So if I come back here, and uh, let's do component, we'll unmount. We receive this in here. And then we will do self dot, essentially we want to do self dot interval, um, which interval would be a reference to our timer. But in order for that to work, um, we need to uh, define um, getters and setters for it. So we can do define a getter of type timer called um, interval. And of course, we need to import our timer. Um, we need to import the dart async class, which is called the timer type in there. And then uh, we can do, can define a setter or interval, um, which would be timer, timer. That way, so let's give that a shot and see what we get. So we can do self interval equal to our timer. Then we do self interval dot cancel, which is because um, yeah, our timer exposes a cancel method, which allows us to kill the timer. So let me save all of this and then um, try loading that again. Okay. Yep, that seems to work fine. I do want to say in retrospect that I um, wouldn't recommend this approach um, if you wish to use um, React um, in Dart. So um, what I would recommend is um, using this package uh, called React so you can access it at this URL or go to pop.datlang.org and then just search for React and um, the first result will bring you to the screen. So what this package essentially is, is it's a Dart wrapper uh, for React.js, <laughs> as it says there. And um, what it does is it wraps the React um, library with the Dart, uh, with the JS interrupt solution, um, which in turn just makes it, exposes a much friendlier API for React, working with React. So here's an example of um, rendering a div element. So this um, object is a map, it's a dart map, which takes in a key value pair of um, attributes um, or properties. And here is the content that goes in there. So um, this is a lot simpler. Here's an example of a div with, um, uh, with more 
um, elements inside it so heading one and anchor in some generic text um, here's how you deal with click events and so on and so forth um, this is an example of how you would um, go about constructing a component so um, this um, package this wrapper comes with a um, base class called component and then you can extend it and then um, implement a render function in this manner so this is a lot simpler uh, to do and um, in the next video I am going to um, be using this package and demonstrating exactly how we can um, um, go about um, building um, React components and um, using this package so stay tuned as always um, thank you for watching um, this video um, I hope you learned a thing or two if you would like to know more about Dart um, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you are updated when new videos are released thank you